Peter, John. would you consider <laughs> entering Parliament and representing mainstream Australians? Um, I'll give you. I'll give you my um, very honest answer. I never really started with a with a defined career path. I finished law. My father died suddenly. I took a job with Kay Patterson writing speeches and, and I never set out to do 16 years in politics and work for the Prime Minister. It just all happened organically. Um, and I'm lucky, right? Blessed to be at the apex of our government and seeing our democracy up close. But those last few years, um, when, when Malcolm was mowing mercilessly down an elected Prime Minister, I was wounded, you know, like pretty bloody brutal, John. Um, you wouldn't know the name. No one would know the name of uh, Scott Morrison's chief of staff, but you all knew my name. And it was just a massive pile on and I found it really hard. And um, I, I never, I was very happy to be a backroom person. I'd always never intended to run. And um, I only, to be honest, really agreed to do Sky just for that election in 16, just because I thought I can write whatever I like to say that, that's not who I was um, and I need a fair go and this is why, etc. But the best thing I can do is just go on an election panel, let people have a look at me and they'll make their own view, right? And I don't care whether they like me or not, but I just wanted them to have a more rounded view of who Peter Credlin was. Um, I found I liked it <laughs> and I found the audience responded to you me. You were very good at it. Um, and, and, I, and, I, and I thoroughly enjoyed, for the first time in my political life, having my own voice. Now, would I give that up to go into Parliament to be constrained again, as, as all, you know, good MPs should be constrained by a party ethos? Um, I'd need some convincing. And, and I'm also, I don't know, there are some in the party room that I would have less in common with as a Liberal than I would with someone like Joel Fitzgibbon. You know, there are people in the Labor Party that I would have more ideological connection with than some of the moderates in inner city seats. And I wonder what what's going to happen longer term with the Liberal Party is that rub inside the party room is is very different and exaggerated compared to where the party membership is. So I don't say never, 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 um, but I'm very happy where I am. Peter Credlin, so many Australians are glad you have not said never, never, never.